Hey guys, Uncle Folk here and welcome to another FIFA 21 SBC video. It is Tuesday at 6pm and it looks like EA have gone by to the 6pm like major content release time because we have been given to go along with the release of the Team of the Year Defenders which look absolutely insane. We have been given a moment Jerome Boateng who looks fantastic. Now, I just built my team yesterday with the only thing that I have to now add to it being Team of the Year Kimmich over the weekend. I bought Road to the Final David Alaba uh, yesterday. He's been fantastic for me so far. But this Boateng would fit perfectly into my team. So I don't know what I'm going to do. But we're going to have a look at this card. We're going to compare him to like other Bundesliga centre-backs. I remember he had a flashback card. I think it was last year. That was amazing. That I completed. And and this card on his base stats look. He just looks insane. Three segments to him. We'll have a look and see if there's any other content as well. But we're going to focus on the, on this Boateng card. Then we'll have a look at the other potential SBC content. And then also see if we were maybe given another objective card to be able to grind. But it says, end a player moments Jerome Boateng. Celebrating his defensive performance. Performance versus RB Salzburg in the UCL of this season uh, in the group stage, and he looks incredible. Um, so I think that's blue hair that he's got as well, which is probably already going to make the SBC maybe even more expensive. Um, so it's going to be an 83 rated squad with just one Bayern player, mixed players pack in return. An 84 rated squad, okay, I'm going to have to do this, and an 85 rated squad, that is fantastic value for money. Um, I I'm doing this SBC. I, I think it's time to wave bye-bye to player moments, John Stones, because that SBC is fantastic value for money. Absolutely no one, just like the Palo Dybala SBC, no one can complain about this SBC because he has got absolutely everything you would want for a defender. Four star weak foot is fantastic. Okay, some people may say a medium, medium work rate, but listen, it's not the end of the world. He makes up for it in other areas. Six, six foot four is fantastic in terms of height. In-game stats, his pace is extremely good in sprint speed. Acceleration still isn't the worst. Overall, 80 pace is very, very good. His passing stats, are, I mean, if you really wanted to, you can play him as a CDM in-game. Um, I, I will be playing him as a centre-back. But his passing stats are superb. His dribbling for a centre-back is, is, is great. Look at that composure and his reactions. Top, top stats there. Uh, d defending, again, very, very good. Maybe his interceptions would maybe need bumping up a little bit. But honestly, it isn't too bad at all. 75 stamina, yeah, okay. But, but look at his physicality stats as well. Uh, player traits, there's nothing really uh, going on there too much. So the only two things that people might be a little bit tanly concerned with would be the work rate of medium, medium, and then the 75 stamina. But honestly, on the whole, I don't think it's going to be that much of an issue. That is absolutely fantastic. An 83, an 84, and an 85. I believe it was just one team of the week, or was it two team of the weeks? Just one team of the week. Um, so, so that's brilliant. Once again, I'm going to have to compare him with that player moments John Stones and player moments John Stones has been absolutely fantastic I've really enjoyed using him now how would I get this team to work how would I get this team to work um I mean just pop Boateng in and then I'll have a huge smile on my face that's what I'm guessing that's what I'm guessing um let's see Bundesliga oh man this card's got me so excited with that blue hair as well, he probably won't have it in game sadly but I mean if I could just compare him for example with the Stavard Alaba cards same pace um, Alaba's got a lot more shooting. Hold on, we'll just compare them like this instead so it's easier for everyone. More passing on Alaba, more dribbling on Alaba. But uh, Boateng has got much more better physicality and much more better defending. Um, and and this, this Alaba card could get upgrades uh, and did cost me 470,000 coins. Comparing him, this is just for my own self. Don't worry, I'll compare him for the Bundesliga centre backs as well in a second. And then with John Stones, more pace for Boateng, more passing, same dribbling, much better defending, much better physicality. He's just a better card. Uh, and John Stones has been great for me, but I think it's time to make the upgrade during Team of the Year. And then I'll just simply pop in a, a, a Team of the Year, Manuel Neuer, I'm guessing, or maybe just his regular cards. And that looks fantastic. So 100% guys, I'll be doing the SBC. And when you look at all the centre-backs as well from the Bundesliga, remember guys, there's not going to be any team of the year centre-back from the Bundesliga. Of course, we've got Alfonso Davies, ne uh, not Neymar, um, Neuer as well, getting in for goalkeeper and left-back. But actually, in terms of centre-backs, the Bundesliga still maybe isn't quite blessed with the best of options. Uh, don't get me wrong, there's obviously some good runs, for, you know, for example, that, that road to the final Alp is obviously superb. Hummels just lacks in pace, needs a flashback card to become good enough. Hintzurega, to be fair, actually isn't too 
too bad. Um, he, he certainly isn't the worst. Klosterman, well, actually, there are quite a few good centre-backs. Upper Mancano, I, I, I take back what I said before. Inform, Hasseltenberg, uh, Road to the Final, at Kanji as well. Actually, the Bundesliga is blessed with quite a few good centre-backs. But in terms of what that SBC requires, it is fantastic value for money. Absolutely fantastic. So I will have a review, guys, later on tonight for sure. Um, and there's the team of the years. Why are they really giving us Van D Oh, I'm guessing just advertising three of them, aren't they? Van Dijk, Ramos, and... Uh and Trent. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the objectives and then we'll finish off and see if there's any other SPCs. But that SPC is fantastic. Let me guys know if you're going to be doing him. Um, if you've got a t if you've got a Bundesliga team, it makes so much sense, which I effectively have now. I'm really building into like a full Bundesliga team. But the Bundesliga this year is turning out to be one of the best leagues um, in the game. He's there for how long? The next week. It's, it's a really, really good SPC. What's that going to come in at? About mm, 280,000, I reckon, if I had to go like really specific on the price. And I think for the card that you're getting in return, that's absolutely fantastic. There's another red team of the year daily challenge in there as well for people to get involved in. Um, Australia week as well. That kit actually looks really, really good. I might have to do that, but two segments to it worries me a little bit. And then we'll be given anything in icons. I doubt it. Um, and we weren't. But on the whole, guys. What an SBC for Jerome Boateng. So I'll definitely have a review on him later on today. But anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys later.